More than a few years ago, we had a member of our church that came up and wanted to begin having AA groups and NA groups meet here at the church. I couldn't have been more excited. As we sat down and talked a little further, he told me his story. He talked about how 20 plus years before he had taken his last drink, that he had been clean and sober for that long. And I said, wow, tell me about that story. Tell me about that process. Because I hear so many people that say, I made the decision and that was it. He goes, no, 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 no. He says, I don't, I have met very few people that actually can say that. He said, the change, I made the decision to go to AA, but he says, making the decision to change was a daily, sometimes hourly, sometimes minute by minute choice to remain clean and sober. And he said, by doing it like that, I've kept that change going for over 20 years and I wanna help others. Well, a lot of those groups kind of faded away when he passed away, but he made an incredible, an incredible contribution basically to helping me understand how addicts change, that it doesn't happen overnight. That for most of us though, when you think about it, change doesn't happen overnight. Change doesn't happen instantaneously, but there is a myth. And I think that we have sometimes in Christianity have taken that myth and propagated it based on the story that we're gonna look at this coming Sunday July the 9th, right here at Community Bible Church. You know, we've been in a series called Being the Church in Challenging Times. This Sunday, I'm gonna be talking about keeping the change. How do you make the decision to change, but then how do you keep the change going? We're gonna be looking at a story for, that a lot of people who've been around church have heard about, and that is Saul's conversion on the road to Damascus. Because of the instant thing that happens to Saul, we think somehow that that's what happens to everybody. In fact, we have bought into the myth when you read the scripture passage that his change took place in an instant, but it really didn't. It was incremental. And there was a lot of ups and downs, a lot of failures and successes, a lot of joy and a lot of sorrow along the way. So how do we keep change going in ourselves and how do we keep change going in our communities and in our culture. We're gonna take a look at that this coming Sunday, July the 9th, right here at Community Bible Church. We have two morning worship services, one at 9.45 and one at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. These are in person. If you can't join us in person or you're not in the area or for some reason, you just wanna tune in online, you can do that at 11 o'clock a.m. over on our YouTube channel. You'll see the links posted in various different places on our social media, and we also email those links out and text them out prior to the services over the weekend. If you're not on any of that, uh, any of our text messages or emails, send us an email to info at cbcfl.org. Include your cell phone number if you also wanna receive the text alerts, and we will get you on that list. We'd love to see you this coming Sunday because change doesn't happen in an instant. The decision does, but change is incremental. We're gonna look at how it happened to one guy and how it can happen to us, both to ourselves and our churches and our families and in our communities at large. We'll see you this coming Sunday as we talk about keeping the change.